Hey guys, Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine, and it's the Friday after Thanksgiving 2011, and I just finished a coaching session with a client of mine, and we had a very interesting conversation which prompted me to um, do this video. I think that it will be very beneficial to um, all of you who are viewing this, but the, the topic of this video is plan, profit, and purchase, and we had this conversation because... Uh, when she called in for her Skype call, I was on my laptop, and I told her, I said, you know what, give me just a few minutes to transfer over to um, my Mac computer, and I will call you right back. And the reason why I wanted to transfer over to the Mac computer is because we record our sessions, and the lighting is just much better on the Mac computer than it is on the HP, blah, 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 blah. But anyways... Um, as a result of that conversation, when we reconnected on the phone, she said to me, she said, um, Stephanie, I so admire you because you always have the best of everything. And I had to stop her and let her know that um, me purchasing a Mac computer was not because I thought that the Mac computer was better than the PC. Uh, there are some people who uh, swear by Apple products. They love Apple products. And don't get me wrong, I do like my Mac computer, but I did not purchase the Mac computer simply because I thought it was a better project or better product than my HP laptop. So let me just kind of break this down to you as it relates to plan, profit, and purchase, why I made that conversation or why I, why I made that comment to her. Many of you know that we are in the process of recording for Career Magazine TV. And the studio that we used to record, when we did all of our training, we did everything on a Mac computer. And understanding where my business is going, I knew that in order for me to be competitive and, and keep up with the, the things that are going on as it relates to my business, I needed to have everything, um, everything possible that I could have in-house. Not because I want to compete with the studio, but because there are times when the studio is closed. There are times when the studio is not available. There are times when um, the computers are down or, or whatever the case may be. They're either someone's using them because we're not the only people who utilize the studio. And so I, I um, purchased the Mac computer because it was a good business decision based on the direction of where Career Magazine and Career Magazine TV are going. So it wasn't so much that I thought that it was a better product, but it was a product that we needed to be competitive in our business. And so um, we purchased uh, the Mac computer, we purchased um, Photoshop, and we purchased Final Cut Pro. Another thing that I had to share with her is that uh, we didn't just go out and, and, and put our credit cards down. My husband and I don't believe in that. We, um, I used to teach the Get Checking class, which is a national financial literacy program, and I used to be a part-time facilitator for that program. And so I learned so much about credit and, and um, you know, just just tons of things that are that are nuggets that are our life nuggets that we can use in our everyday life and so because of that my husband and I even though we have credit cards we don't use them unless uh, we have to with that being said we paid cash for the Mac computer for the Photoshop program and for um, the Final Cut Pro now we did not just say hey let's just go to the bank and um, withdraw this money what we did is we waited until we got our income tax back and then we made that purchase but we made it because we had a plan we figured out how it would profit us in business and then we made the purchase and so that is what I wanted to share with you all today don't just go out and make random purchases because you know your your colleague or your um, whomever saying hey you know I'm using such and such or you know I have this kind of computer I have that kind of computer make sure that you have a written plan make sure you understand how it is going to bring in some profit and then make your purchase now how does this all summarize into what I'm talking about today us having the Mac computer, the Photoshop, as well as um, Final Cut Pro, it allows us to save business, uh, save money, which is going to be a huge um, 
a profit, a, a huge savings for us at the end of the year when we do our profit and loss statement. So we're able to see that uh, because we have Photoshop, there's tons of things that we don't have to outsource anymore as it relates to graphic design. Um, as it relates to Career Mag TV, you know, if our studio is down or if the studio is closed or if the studio is unavailable, we don't lose um, profit because of productivity. You know, when your productivity is down, it um, and it, it it has an effect on what you're able to produce as, as far as product goes. And so we are able to do all do to do not all, but a lot of it in house. So that becomes a bucket full of money that we are able to save because we can bring those things in-house. And so based on the fact that we devised a plan, which was to wait until we got our taxes back, um, we figured out how it would benefit us and how it would bring profit to us. And then we made the purchase. So I hope that this is helpful to you. Someone is uh, teeter-tottering about whether or not they should purchase um, an iPad or a Galaxy Tab or whatever. Now, don't get me wrong. If you want to um, go out and purchase something just because you want it and just because you can afford to, by all means, go ahead. We do that all the time. Um, you know, I'm on my way to get a Galaxy Tab next. That's my next little venture. But uh, I'm not saying... Um, don't purchase things. I'm just saying make sure that when you do purchase that there is a plan and that it will um, you know, bring you some profit. And I'm talking about business. I'm not talking about personal things. I'm not talking about things that you decide that you want to go out and purchase as a reward to yourself or you know, because you feel like it will improve you. But I'm talking about when you are making a business decision. Okay, so that applies to my small businesses, my entrepreneurs, my authors. Um, you know, I tell you guys all the time, books are a business. So you have to make sure that when you are making these purchases, that you are um, understanding how it's going to profit you in the long run. So I'm Stephanie C. Harper. This has been your video tip for today. Again, in this order, plan, profit, and then purchase. So again, Devise a plan, figure out how you will profit from it, and then purchase. So I'm Stephanie C. Harper with Career Magazine, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.